channel if you're new here or if this is your first time hello my name is Brooke today we're switching it up and we're taking a step away from the makeup tutorials and I'm gonna show you guys how I curl my hair um, I have a couple different ways that I like to curl my hair today I'm going to be showing you how I curl my hair using a curling iron I also sometimes curl it with a straightener um, or just use different techniques so this is probably my favorite and if you guys just want to see how to get this effortless wavy curly hair then just keep watching hello ladies and gentlemen we're gonna start with this and we're gonna finish ending up like a Victoria's Secret model. Okay, maybe not maybe not that extreme, but you know, we'll do the best that we can do. Today I wanted to show you guys a hair tutorial. Ugh, this is so annoying. I look like Albert Einstein, it's fine. I wanted to show you guys how I curl my hair. It's super quick and easy, and I know that I used to watch a bunch of hair tutorials on like how to get beachy waves and every single time I would try it the method just wouldn't work for my hair. I have thick hair and I have a lot of it and my hair is resistant to heat. Um, not like crazy resistant but my hair just doesn't hold a curl well. Um, so I want to show you guys how I style my hair and how I curl my hair when I want to look all cute and nice and beachy and wavy or whatever it may be. So let's get into today's video. Let's take this freaking mug down. Okay so first things first I want to go over shampoo and conditioner and hair products and things like that. So last night I did shampoo my hair with the Novex Mystic Black Shampoo and Conditioner. They were kind enough to send me this so I just wanted to say thank you so much Novex. I appreciate it so much and I'm so grateful. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick honest review on these products. They were kind enough to send me the shampoo, conditioner, and then the leave-in conditioner and a deep conditioner. The one product that I wasn't sent that I was really looking forward to in this little pamphlet that I received as well was the oil. I am a fiend for hair oils. I love them. They are absolutely amazing and they're so versatile which is why I love them so much but I didn't get that in my package which is totally okay. I like this shampoo. It smells really good. The one thing that I would change about it is it doesn't set up, suds up really nicely. The first time around I find that with the second shampoo I do get much more of a suds but you do have to use a little bit more of this than you normally would or that I find that I do with other shampoos that I use so if you pick this up just expect that and be ready for that. The conditioner I loved, it's just your normal moisturizing soft conditioner. What I love so much about this hair care line is it's free of parabens, sulfates, silicones, and petrolatum I believe is how you say it. They're really bad for your hair, they strip it down, um, they can just kind of take the life out of your hair. So I really like that this line is free of that. And then also last night I put the leave-in conditioner in as well. This stuff I like. Um, it just smells really nice and just makes your hair really soft. So now that we've gotten that down and out of the way, we are going to be going in with heat protector. Today I'm going to be using the Sebastian Trillion heat protector. This stuff is awesome. It also helps to add shine and it has a little bit of like a shimmer to it, um, which also helps to enhance shine. For the curling iron I will be using today, I'm going to be using my Babyliss um, Nano Pro Nano Titanium curling iron. It's just a really good curling iron. It heats up really quickly. Got this off of Amazon for $40. Babyliss is my favorite hair tool line that I've used. Their hair dryers are amazing. So I'm just going to take my hair. I like to do this in about three sections. So I'm just going to separate it right from like the top of my ear and then just pin it up. I'm going to take my heat protectant, which is important that you shake it up. It's really important that you shake up any kind of product that you're going to be using just because a lot of times they can separate but I'm just going to do a couple of sprays and then comb that just got out of my mouth and then comb this through I'm just going to take about a one inch section right here and I alternate my curls so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back away from my face so I just take it about halfway up the hair strand twirl it until I cannot twirl it anymore and then I will go down more and pull it out like that and twist it back up 
I always leave a little bit of the ends out as you can see and then what I do at the very end is I don't unclamp it I just take it and twist it down with the direction of the curl to help give that like twisty effect to it this one I'm gonna have going towards my face I like doing curls in opposite directions of each other because I feel like it just adds a lot of volume and movement and I feel like it always just looks really nice so I'm just going to twist it up the hair strand and then once that sit for a minute I'm going to drop it and twist it again around the iron like I did before this just adds a nice curl to it so now I just go about to my temple clip that up I will always do the first strands around my hairline going back towards my face because that gives more of a windblown like I'm here, I'm alive, I'm living kind of look. Whereas going towards the face kind of creates more of that concave and kind of old Hollywood kind of style curl, which is beautiful, but that's not the look I'm going for today. Wrapping, dropping, twisting, and dropping once more. So, I have a question for you guys. I don't know if you guys prefer seeing more natural tutorials or just more like everyday wearable tutorials or if you guys like seeing a little bit more of a dramatic, showy, full face of makeup kind of looks. Let me know which kind of tutorials you want to see more. I know when I was first getting into makeup, I watched more of like an everyday just wearable makeup tutorials than I did more of like the extreme artsy makeup tutorials, so feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know <laughs> what you guys want to see. Also, I have been vlogging more, which I've really been enjoying, and if you guys are liking my vlogs, let me know, because I like to film them more. Also, um, sometimes I'll spray my hair as I'm going through and curling my hair, and sometimes I'll spray it all at the end, depending on what kind of curl I'm going for. Obviously, if I want more of a tighter curl, I will spray it as I'm going along so that it doesn't fall too much in between. Today, I just want a loose, relaxed wave, so I'm just going to let it do whatever it wants, then I'll spray everything at the end. And I'm actually going to be doing four sections today, so I'm taking one more right around the crown of my head, and I'm just leaving that top section up for right now just so that I get like the maximum curl. Also, <laughs> as this grows out, it just gets worse and worse and oh, drives me crazy. I literally feel like I look like Albert Einstein. I really think I do, but whatever. What are you gonna do about it? I am now going to speed this up so you guys can See this in fast motion and I will slow it down when I'm done. Okay, so since this is the side of my hair that has most of my hair laying this way, this very last section I'm going to take and split in two because it is also just too big to have as one whole section. Don't cheat yourself and take too big of sections because then, at least for me, my hair is just going to end up falling and it's just not going to look good.
So now that the curls are done, I'm gonna grab a product and I will be right back. Now I'm just taking my Sebastian Dark Oil. I love, love, love this stuff. It is so beautiful on the hair and it smells amazing. I am just going to take a very small amount, run this between my hands, and then just quickly pull out my curls. The more you do this, obviously, the more they're gonna fall, but just to give a really beautiful wave. Now I'm just going to take my Sebastian hairspray and I'm just going to spray my, hello, I'm just going to spray all over. I take a bath in this because like I said, my hair doesn't like to curl. Okay, so this completes the total hair tutorial. I will get some close-up shots for you guys and insert those as the intro. But I hope you guys liked today's video. I would love to do more hair tutorials if that is something you guys want to see because I that is what I went to school for so I think I kind of might be able to help you guys out in that way like I could do a how to do your own blowout or anything like that we'll see but I really love curling my hair this way like I said it's just a nice natural effortless wave hope you guys liked today's video I had fun filming it for you guys I always like to switch it up and kind of step away from the makeup tutorials and just sit down and feel like I can talk to the camera because I don't always have to be explaining something. So this was a nice switch for today. I hope that you guys liked today's video. If you want to see more of my videos I've done in the past, feel free to check them out. Also, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. As always, leave a comment down below letting me know what type of videos you guys want to see. Whatever you want to see, whether they are beauty related or not, let me know and I will make sure that I film those for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Luminin, illumin, illuminator for your hair, I don't know. And I like to do it, this, in about three, th <laughs> so tell me, you guys, what you like to see more. Um, tell me, guys. Oh, that was in English. Plug this into the wall. Ah! I'm falling! Okay, I almost just fell.